let's start with one pink. So I'm going to knit in pink like so. And now I'm going to do seven black. There's my pink. Now I'm going to go one, two, three. Okay, I want to trap the pink now. So what I'm going to do is, you know, both of those are at the back of the work. You can see I enter my stitch like that. Let me try that again. Enter my stitch. I keep, sorry. I'm entering my stitch like that. Both of these things are at the back of the work. I take the pink over and under the needle tip with my thumb. And then I make the black stitch by pushing it over the top of the needle. And then I take this off like so and I come back through and complete the stitch in black and again in black and again in black so that gives me one two three four five six I'll do one more in black there seven in black and now I can make my pink like that. Now I'm going to do it again. Seven black I want. So I go one, two, three. Now I just want to trap it here. I want to trap my background color pink. I take it over the black. You can see how it crisscrosses criss over the black. So over the black and behind the tip of the needle. Then I take my black over the tip of the needle. I take the pink and drop it off and then I complete the knit stitch. And if I complete the next knit stitch and the next knit stitch and the next knit stitch there's the um, the pink trapped behind the work and then I can just do another pink stitch like that so just for the lols let's do it again I'm going to go black one two three here I am on the fourth one and at this point I want to trap again I bring the pink over under the needle tip and around the back of the needle then I take the black over the tip of the needle. Now I take the pink off and I let it drop and then I pull mm. through the front of the stitch to complete and then you can keep going. Sorry. Knitting here. Five. Six. Seven. and I can complete the pink stitch there and knit it. So the only thing you have to really remember is which way the yarn feeds in on the knit side. So always make sure that your pink or your background colour is going to feed. This is only on the knit side, right? You're going to have to change it round if you do it on the pearl side. But when you're on the knit side, which is always the way on the knit side, you always make sure that um, you carry the pink coming in from the right hand side or the background, sorry, the background color from the right hand side and the foreground color from the left hand side. 
So I'll do it one last time to complete the, the row. So, uh, whoops, I'm knitting one, two, three. Now I'm onto the fourth stitch and I want to trap here. So I take my pink over that black and I hook it around the back of the needle. I take the black and hook it over the needle tip as usual. And then I take the pink and I drop it off just like that. And then to complete the knit stitch I go around like that with the black. And that's four. Then I go five, six, seven, and that's completed. And then I would of course put in a pink in my pattern. And I'll just complete this with uh, um, knitting black and another black in there. And so that is what it looks like from the back. A little bit untidy perhaps, but anyway, now Again, if you turn it over on this side and you're going to purl backwards, you have to swap around the way that you're carrying these yarns. So you're going to want the pink to be carried over on the left hand side and the black to be carried on the right hand side. Pink background colour has to then feed in from your left hand side and the, the black background colour has to feed in from the right hand side. If you just remember the directions change, that the the direction from which the yarn is carried changes on the purl side and the knit side. As long as you get those right, everything else will fall into place.